Este es el Recordwagen T80 que se expone en el Museo Mercedes de Stuttgart. Durante el Tercer Reich, Mercedes y Autounión estaban enzarzados en una dura pugna por conseguir el récord del mundo de velocidad sobre tierra. El inicio de las hostilidades de la Segunda Guerra Mundial dio al traste con la lucha y los proyectos. Between 1934 and 1939, Mercedes-Benz and Auto Union fought many thrilling duels on and off the Grand Prix racetracks. With specially designed cars, the two arch rivals were continuously hunting for new speed records. In October 1937, Auto Union driver Bent Hosemeyer dominated the German record week. Three months later, Rudolf Caracciola set out to get his own back at the wheel of a W125. As in previous record attempts, the chassis of the successful Grand Prix racing car was fitted with a 12-cylinder engine with a displacement of 340 cubic inches. The car's bodywork was brand new. The wheel covers reaching far down and the long rear end with its distinctive airflow breakaway edge were the results of extensive tests in the wind tunnel. Since a cooling box with 220 pounds of ice and a little water sufficed for the short record runs, the car could do without a conventional radiator. The air intakes in the front were reduced in size for improved aerodynamic efficiency. With this W125, Rudolf Caracciola undertook a series of record attempts on the motorway section between Frankfurt and Darmstadt on January the 28th, 1938. And he reached a speed of 268.8 miles an hour over one kilometer from a flying start. This is the highest speed ever attained on a public road to this day. In the attempt to beat Caracciola's record, Ben Rosemeyer lost his life on the same day. The popular auto union racing driver had ignored Caracciola's advice to delay the start because of the strong side wind which had sprung up in the interim. Rosemeyer lost control over his car with fatal consequences. From the very beginnings, the hunt for speed records has been part and parcel of automotive history. In the fall of 1936, Daimler-Benz AG commissioned Ferdinand Porsche to build the fastest car in the world. The driving force mm. behind this project was racing driver Hans Stuck, who also was to steer the car. Even before the new racing car was ready for action, Englishman George Aston reached a speed of 357 miles an hour driving his Thunderbolt in September 1938. The German record car was designed for just 340 miles an hour, and Porsche was forced to change his plans. His idea was to break through the 370 miles an hour barrier with the Mercedes-Benz DB603 aero engine, which was still at the development stage at the time. To transmit as much engine power as possible to the road, Porsche designed a three-axle car with four driven rear wheels. In early 1939, Chassis and bodywork were ready for action, but the engine still not developed for the desired power. When it finally approached completion, the political situation no longer permitted record runs. Rather than on a salt lake in Utah as planned, the record runs were now to be made on German soil, on the motorway near Dessau. But the scheduled record week with the new T-80 record cars, the main attraction had to be cancelled. The Second World War broke out on September 1st, 1939, and the record car never took to the road.